Hello everyone, welcome to A Hail Over Hill, and today is going to be a fairly quick and simple one. We are doing a timeless, uh, like a Simic field deck. Uh, what do I mean by Simic field? A, it's a field of the dead deck. Uh, is it as fast as on some other deck builds? No. But the basics is get out. Uh, as many fields of the dead as possible with as many uh, lands of different names backed up all by primeval titan uh, I'm going more most of the decks that I've seen have been primarily mono green. I'm going Simic I like Wanting to originally play some a little bit of Oko uh, it's getting to the point that I can probably drop the Oko, but occasionally I like it. Uh, but this is a slower deck, so it's like for counter spells, for disallows, uh, for some counter magics, then joint exploration, and into the north for uh, along with growth spiral to like get extra lands into play. Yeah, I had to kick the joint uh, to get the land into play, but it's still the scry two jaw is always nice. Green, green sun zenith, uh, green sun's twilight helps grab the primeval. Uh, Nail helps grab the primeval lands. Uh, so yeah, and Oka's just being Oka and helping helping control the field a little bit. So yeah, uh, let's jump into a best of one see y'all in just a moment and here we go into it uh, last time I tried to record this we got some serious pausing going on but yeah this is really enough capable of windswept into one of the triomes uh, that I play um, I play into the north uh, like a it's a whole lot more land types that uh, different like an island and a snow covered island are technically uh, two different na lands of two different name types so even though they're basic islands essentially so but into the north gives me some of that aspect yeah. This is an odd shot. Oh, well, okay, say, so you why are you lightning botting me straight to the face? Uh, you've cracked that. Uh, let's grab Spa's headquarters. Island. Prime times. Yeah, that somewhat kills these three guys, but yeah, that's that's gonna be fine. <laughs> Uh, throw Rhymewood Falls into the battlefield. Then probably play the nail next turn, so... What's happening over there? <laughs> and, uh, the nail is mostly in here for the... Uh... It helps di start digging out creatures and lands for my deck and putting them into play. Or helping me cheat them into play. So, that's a big thing with that, so. Sorry about the choppiness, people. Okay, 
I'm gonna do you into they hopefully they that will partially they like, make them realize that they can't make an attack this turn unless they have something in hand or it will force the attack uh, so they can get light up the stage potentially they can start forcing the that's the thing I I almost want to think they have something but If they don't, they don't, but this somewhat forces like them into A if I block it forces their hand. If they don't, this for Yeah. Like I thought. I'm forcing their hand. Next on, I'm just gonna probably uh, greens and twilight. That is an odd choice. Uh, yeah. X is three, auto pay. Uh, grab the wooded foot heels. Oh, I'm. Realize when you are dead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to be conceding that one. I'm going to be playing one more game, so see you all in just a moment. And here we go. Uh, and <laughs> that game, first game was... I'm doing A, I'm doing best of ones, never been in a side deck and whatnot. But the big overall thing with this deck is it, it can swing at times. Um, and oddly enough, I lost a recording prior to this that demonstrated that this deck can really pop off, but yeah. Yeah, uh, what I'm probably gonna do is Breeding Pool, pay the two Growth Spiral, draw uh, uh, Racket, go digging, fall You start feeling, uh, it's really the nail is really the only thing that in this deck that has a different name, so. So, actually, so. Joint, kick, you know, now is the big thing that cares about the, put you into play, oh yeah, I say, one of us, I didn't have the colors, I should have just simply, because I was thinking, oh yeah, kick the joint and no, I'm doing it well. I should have into the north uh, growth spiral or the mine would fall, so. Haste for Torn. Okay, well. Into you. Growth Spiral, 
Jorka place Drywood on the field. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably next turn Green Sun and Twilight for six. And that's one of the big things about the Green Green Sun's Twilight. It's the digging option. So. I'll just go straight into prime time. Take action. Uh, double field of the dead because I, I meet all the requirements of any. Can't exactly benefit play you, so. Uh, grab. Up to the top. At this point, it's just keep playing. What I'm thinking is next turn probably won't live that long, but I'm almost wanting to go uh, prime time. Yeah, I have to double block there that. Yeah, they've got this. Because I have to double block there, but it's like, there's two points, there's one point. And there's two points, so... But, uh, really enough, I'm not giving up yet, because... <laughs> Defeat happens. Uh, so yeah, actually I might, yeah, I'm going to get in one more game with this. So yeah, I'm going to do one more game with it, but this is partially a demonstration of how the deck works. I was getting so close there, but the prime time came probably a ton too late, so... Not really enough. Uh, I can make that work. It's mostly turn one spas into turn on to flooded strand into breeding pool, uh, into growth by wall the Vimewood Falls. Pass there. Back. Pay to life. Gold spiral. Ha gotta have counter magic. Yep. Plywood falls. I'm just gonna. That somewhat sucks, but that I couldn't kick the it, but stuff happens, and I'm gonna get gonna be also down another land, so cast Doko. Are you going to have something? Yep. Is the counter spell? Pass. 
Yeah. I now have domain. Yeah. Haven. Yeah, just realizing your dead self. Probably not the best examples in the world for this deck, but uh, well enough, more times than not, it does pull out a few wins. So yeah, uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below, and as always folks, I'll see you around.